ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Siphon Filter. When we last left off, we had made it into the uh, Freedom Memorial, where our friend Gerdu is waiting for us. Well, that's okay. So, forwarded from Agency Intel, SpySat has completed a detailed analysis of Gerdu's body armor. It is impervious to all conventional weapons. Our armor specialists are working on it, but your agent may have to improvise to find a weak spot. Our demolition expert has noted that use of any explosive device will trigger a, the viral bomb. Oh my. So, yeah. What time her do? I hope this. Homer's paying you enough to die for him. Gabriel Logan. Always the optimist. <clears throat> Look around, Logan. This hall contains a mosaic depicting the entire history of your country's wars and aggression. We are about to make an addition to it. I don't think so, Gerdu. It ends here. All right, Gerdu. Let's Gabe, do this. Gerdu's wearing full body armor. You've got to find a weak spot. <clears throat> yeah, he's... Kind of, oh dear, that was really bad. Let's get behind cover. Yeah, so Gerdu is kind of a dick bag. If he hits us, it's a one hit game over. It's uh, not great. <laughs> so we're going to have to kind of sneak around, be very sneaky, 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 and shoot the git in the back. Uh, now, I, I'm not 100% sure if using different weapons does more or less damage to him. To be honest, I've no idea. I did try this with the silenced pistol and I gave up after about 25 shots and he just got a lucky hit on me, which kind of sucked. However, I did discover if we use this gun, well, things are dramatically uh, go, easier, Logan? should we say the least. I think he takes like 10 shots or something. He's kind of a savage boss, but yeah, he's doable. He's doable. Just have to keep peeking around and shoot him in the back. Pretty unfortunate to be working for the enemies, huh? Now, because I'm using a series, uh, an Elite Series 2 controller, um, I've actually started using the paddles in this game. Because the controls are kind of crazy, And you kind of have to claw the controller in certain places, especially in the next level. I found using, there we go, the paddles for reload and roll and things like that really help. He's finished, Leon. Get CBDC in here. Tell Benton I need an evac. Copy that. Mm mm. I do like uh, fried French cheese. It's got to be said. Mm mm. Smell of garlic in here or something. Anyway. Let's drop a save and continue. Always continuing. This next level is kind of a doozy. I like it. So, New York, Expo City Reception. Incoming from Marcuson. I have approved your request for access to the FBI files on Jonathan Fagan. I... Incoming from Marcuson. New York City Expo Center reception. Incoming from Marcuson, I have approved a request for access to the FBI files on Jonathan Fagan. I think your suspicions may be correct. The Farcom reception may be a cover for a meeting between Fagan and Roma. Follow Fagan closely. Obviously, you must not be seen or captured. You are authorized to eliminate any of Fagan's security, but use silence weapons only. Once you've observed the meeting, use whatever means necessary to capture Fagan alive. Officially, the agency knows nothing about this. Ah, yes. Now, this level. This level is proper sneaky sneak agent stuff, at least to start with, anyway. This level is really fun. We've analyzed so blood go. taken from Romer's men. It contains compounds identical to those extracted from the plants taken from Romer's plantation in Costa Rica. Compounds patented by a multinational corporation named Farcom. I checked with our contact in the World Health Organization. Farcom is also coordinating the WHO's efforts to track down these worldwide viral outbreaks. Romer's not sophisticated enough to run this kind of operation. With that arsenal, he must have an enormous base of operations somewhere. Who's funding him? I have already had Farcom investigated. The final report was inconclusive. Whose report? Benton's? The same man who coordinated our botched raid in Costa Rica? The man who got Jenkins' entire team taken out? 
Where is Benton now? I've placed him on leave. Now, what do you want to do? Fagan is hosting a reception at his exhibition center in New York tonight. I've tapped into their security files and accessed blueprints of the entire building. Fagan doesn't know who I am. I'll go as a guest and plant a remote wire on him. If there's a connection, I'll find it. All right. Report back to me in 24 hours. But this is not a standard intercept and eliminate operation. If Fagan is involved with Romer, I want them both taken alive. If you do find a mole, eliminate him. Leon, something's up. Fagan's moving. I'm going to follow him. But Gabe, his wire is coming in clear. I know, but I want to be there in case something is going down. Be careful. If any of his security guards spot you outside of the reception area, Fagan will know you're here. I won't let anyone see me. All right. Fagan's heading for the Stonehenge exhibit. I'm checking their security protocols. They have guards posted everywhere. Don't be spotted or the mission will be over. No problemo. We'll get our sneak on in no time. So basically, all we have to do is follow Fagan and not get caught. Now, it's not actually as difficult as it seems. So let's just hide over here. We can kill these guys. Definitely recommended to kill these guys as well now the f factor of course is like that <laughs> like that we have to use uh headshots all right nothing else counts apart from a headshot otherwise we get that parameter failed there like so so you know a little bit of caution now, it's really difficult to sneak and kind of crab walk and uh, basically do everything all at once and reload, roll and stuff like that with the controls. So this is what I was saying earlier. Using the Xbox Elite controller, my god, having those paddles. And this is the first time that I've actually like ever used them. It really does make a heck of a difference anyway let's get rid of this guy if we can let's be a sneaky sneak pop him in the back of the brain and we do want to take his weapon because he's actually got a really nice weapon so not really sure if we're going to get spotted by the other guy so let's go take him out first so yeah just hitting the paddle can reload without actually pushing triangle it's so good. And I can understand now why people invest so heavily in controllers with paddles on them. I really can. There we go. Just tap the paddle, reload. Don't need to move any of my fingers away from any of the other controls. It's sublime. And it's definitely uh, a feature that I'm going to be using a lot more of. Who would have thought that... <laughs> that it would be a PlayStation 1 game that would show me, um, you know, the usefulness of these features. But, whatever. Anyway. Okay. Took him a while to realize he was dead, but that's fine. I'm sure it's gonna happen to the best of us. Okay, so we've got one little, little bastard in here in the Stonehenge exhibit. Where are you? Somebody's not going home to his wife and children tonight. Well, that's okay. Daddy can be told. Daddy can be told? Well, maybe he is going home to daddy. Who knows? But uh, this man was a bad man, apparently. And he is now sleeping forever in Stonehenge. Anyway, where's Fagan disappeared to? Now, Fagan doesn't actually escape. Like, he doesn't get so far away that it's a game over. So, you don't have to worry too much about that. Now, this guy can be a bit of a penis. But that's okay. He will cycle backwards and forwards along this little patrol point. Like so. He's... Oh! Okay, there was some uh, wonderful accuracy there. <laughs> Here's me. Yeah, it's not a problem, guys. It's easy. Piece of cake. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Biggin's heading for the stone 
That was better now, wasn't it? Okay. Now there's going to be another guy that's going to creep out here as well. We'll hear his footsteps. There he comes. Here he comes. Very heavy footed. Clomp, 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 clomp. Well, that will be the death of him. Let's aim a little bit lower. Something a little bit like that. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Um, holding down X to sneak is... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'm a super fan of it. It works, but... I would have preferred not to have had to hold a button down, to be honest. Oof. That was just pure luck, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to pretend it was anything other. Anyway, let's make a move. What are you doing here? You were never to come here. Plans have changed. Get out, both of you. Get out. We'll settle this later. At this moment, we no longer work for you. We want the location of the siphon filter lab. Leon, I found the agency's leak. You are. Benton. Where Benton. Is Roma? That son of a... Get out, both of you. We'll settle this later. Shut up. He's been bugged. Quickly, get him out of here. Gabe, Biggins run for it. Roma and Aramov went after him, but Benton's still in there with you. Benton. Right, well, Benton's a bit of a bitch. He has armor on, because of course he does. Like, pretty much every enemy now is going to start wearing armor. But, luckily, we can just head cap his ass. We've just got to kind of work out where he is in the room, which our radar does a wonderful job of. Where are you, Benton? You... Oh! He's off! Please don't damage that flat jacket too much, Benton. Ah, there we go. <laughs> He's finished. Don't send a report to Markinson yet. Not as... find out what's going on here. Elegant as I wanted. Mara must have destroyed the bug. I've lost his signal. I'll get to the security room and give you an uplink to their camera systems. Copy. Farcom security has already cleared the guests out and locked down the building. They'll be looking for you. I'll handle it. That's cool. Don't need to sneak around anymore. Okay, let's see what uh, Leon Farcom's has. Farcom's using a magnetic card key system. Each gate is coded to a unique card. I'll see if I can find a master code. Check their security rosters. I want to know which guards are holding keys and where they are. I'll try. All right, not bad, Leon, not bad. So, at least we don't have to be a sneaky little bugger anymore, which is nice. Now, I don't know, is there any ammo caches or something in this room? You have to have a little bit of a poke around, just because. Also, this level was really detailed for the time. Uh, I really kind of buy the fact that <laughs> we're in some kind of uh, exhibit. It does look cool. Also, this game... Oh, we got the G18 now. G18 is a wicked weapon. It's uh, obviously the Glock 18, fully automatic version. It's ridiculous in how fast this thing fires. Kind of silly. That magazine will empty really quickly. But that's okay. There is a guy around this corner. But fuck that guy. Yeah, the music in this game as well. It's absolutely fantastic and that's something that hit me pretty early on it's just how good everything sounds anyway with benton dealt with ooh, ooh, hi hello evening nice to meet ya just have a little peep around the corner now this peep mechanic is really bloody satisfying as well it's just mm, love it definitely looking forward to playing some more of the siphon filter games to see if they only kept some of these mechanics in I don't really remember the second one that much, but I'm certainly going to be replaying it soon. Okay, what are we looking at? Don't have a huge amount of ammo for our silence pistol, but that's alright. Trouble with the silence pistol is, um, now we're this late stage in. Unless you're, start to, uh, unless you're pulling off headshots, you're not going to be doing an awful lot of damage. That being said, that's pretty much the same for every weapon now. It's headshot or go home. Pretty much. Hmm. 
Let's hope there's no xenomorphs down here. That would be rather awful, wouldn't it? HK5. The HK5 is a pretty wicky weapon. Right, okay. Let's go into this kind of like Mayan-esque area, I guess. Oh, hello. Nope. No, no, no. Not today. Right, let's get our sniper rifle out. End his problem once and for all. Cool. Let's get our sneak on. This room is pretty loaded with guys. Now, you don't want to get too close to that ledge in front of us because that is a super fun happy slide. And as fun as it is, we need to be uh, a little bit cautious at the moment because there are guards. Of course there are guards. There's always guards. Alright, and something, somebody, somewhere has a bead on us. Hi, sir. Ooh. Ooh. And you know what? That, like, blood splatter that comes out of their cranium is still, even after all of these years, super, super satisfying. I'm not going to say it's Resident Evil levels of head splodge satisfying, but it's, you know, it's up there. It's up there. Right, are we good? Possibly good. Let's get up something with a little bit more poke to it. Because we will be attacked as soon as we come down here. There we go. Luckily, no vest for you. Any more? There's always more. Ah, he was going on. He was having some fun on the super fun half slide. Dude, die! Right. A couple of little pip squeaks hiding. There's no point in hiding. Ooh. I think also, like, every weapon on the first shot, at least, is deadly accurate, which is another cool little thing. Like, you don't really have to use the sniper rifle. I mean, sure, the sniper rifle does do more damage, because that's a much higher caliber weapon. But, you know, you don't need to. Anywho, one of these douche nozzles had the key card. I think it was him. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so we need to open up this area here, but the switch for this door is conveniently located up here. So we actually have to go through the super fun happy slide, because this door is on a time limit as well. Because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be on a time limit? In fact, actually, I think most of these doors coming up are on a time limit, but this is the only one that really matters gate controls let's give you a switch and run like a mofo down the super fun happy slide oh hi hello as much as i kind of want to kill this guy time is money there we go <laughs> all right so this leads us neatly into the space exhibit But we're certainly not alone in here. That's fine. We don't want to be alone. We don't mind having a little bit of company. Oh, hi. Somebody above us. Oh. Oh, come on, fella. Ah, oh, lovely. I'm going to abuse those PlayStation 1 polygons there. Boxes be damned. Oh, hello. Hasn't even... Oh, no, he has. Looks like he is also abusing those PlayStation 1 polygons. Son of a bitch. I would say we've come really far when it comes to hit detection, but... Well, I'm not so sure. Black jacket, cool. Some games certainly uh, still struggle pretty severely with that. Let's get sneaking. Ooh. More goons. Always. Ow, 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 ow. That was half my armor. Yeah, you will start seeing these enemies are not quite as useless as they once were. And they do a serious amount of damage to you as well. If you give them half a chance. 
there should, I was going to say, there should be a little turd down here somewhere. Eat that, you son of a bitch. Alright, it's not bad. Oh, who's up there? Oh, I don't know who's up there, but somebody's up here. That's fine. Plenty of bullets for all. And we give bullets freely around these parts. Now, where is that guy? Up here somewhere, apparently. Aha! I see you, sir. <laughs> oh, bless him. He fell down the hole. In fact, he fell down the hole where there was no hole. That's unfortunate. All right. Now, our armor is looking a little bit worse for wear, but we need to go up first. Luckily, there is a broken switch here. It's going to lead us up. You'll recognize this bit. Oh, 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 oh. Might have shot him through the wall. Gabe is just that good. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was left-handed. All right, we're good. There's a G18 there. We'll have you. Goons. The only good goon is a dead goon. Or something. Oh, I thought he was falling to his death then. But, alas, we are certainly not that lucky. No problemo. Card. What have we got in here? Combat shotgun. Uh, don't mind if I do. Kind of looking a little bit like Bond here. I suppose that was the look they're going for. But then, I don't know. You just say that any dude wearing a tuxedo ooh, looks like Bond. Alright, we're good. We're good. We are absolutely good. Let's go down. Oop. Go down. Go down. Thank you. Bit iffy there. But you know, PS1. Can't expect too much now, can we? Let's hope nobody launches that rocket whilst we're in here. Good thing it's a rep blocker. Okay. Let's head on through. Whoop. I used to think the way he kicked those doors open was so cool. Hello. You have a flat jacket, don't you? No, you don't. Oh, good God. Neither do you. That was close. We've always got to turn into Swiss cheese. Now, I'm pretty sure as soon as I start playing uh, Siphon Filter 2, it's probably all going to come back to me like this game did. I mean, I am practicing this game off camera as well. But it, this game, yeah, it, it is flooding back. Star uh, Museum, huh? All right, well, I suppose we should go have a look at the museum. Oh, right, yes. <sighs> Duck. Duck and cover. Looks like nobody likes the moon man or something. That's fine. Welcome to Earth. Kind of look like the men in black. But then, any dude wearing a tuxedo kind of looks like... Anyway, let's grab their guns. That was the Saturn rumor. Huh? Look at this exhibit here. Phobos. Dimios, or Demos, I should say. Really cool. Now, we've got a switch behind us, but before we flick any switch, always check, have a peep through the gate, because you never know. Come on, Gaben. Ah, hello, sir. Do I have just the ticket for you? Wanted to go see the moon. I sent him packing. Now, what's in here? Oh, the G3. Oh, the K3. G4, I should say. Pretty cool weapon. I like the description for this weapon as well. Teflon-coated bullets. Popular assault rifle. The K3 G4 is commonly armed with Teflon. 
coated bullets, making it dead, making it a deadly weapon, capable of cutting through the most standard issue flak jackets like a hot knife through butter. Yes, very, very powerful apparently. Although it only has a damage rating of two, which is curious. But we're going to stick to the uh, G18 for now. So we've got a non-stick weapon. Which is kind of all kinds of hilarious. Let's go see the moon men. Oh, hi. Hello, sir. Who's making all that noise? Oof. I hope there's some flak jacket left for the rest of us. Bit awkward otherwise. Now, careful, careful. There we go. Yeah, looks like there's a little bit of flak jacket left. All right. Let's keep creeping forwards. You never know when these bastards are going to come out of the woodwork. I mean, I got a rough idea, but I do forget. Okay. Oop. Leon, I've jacked in. What have you got? I've got him. They're in the dinosaur exhibit. You can't let her assassinate him, Gabe. Only Fagan knows where the virus is being manufactured. And only Mara knows where Romer's base is. I'll figure something out. Yeah, this is awkward. We need both of them alive. Apparently. For reasons. Okay, no matter. What are we on? We're on 27 minutes. Let's do the next level. The next level's not super long, so, you know. The days of sticking to, or trying to stick to 30 minutes don't really matter anymore. Not if I'm doing one video every two days. Anyway, New York City. Expo Center. Dinorama. Incoming from Leon. Amarov is interrogating Fagan near the dinosaur exhibit. I'm losing the audio feeds, but she keeps saying something about siphon filter. <laughs> Both Amarov and Fagan have information we need. You must stop Amarov from killing Fagan, but without killing her. <gasps> okay, however, were we going the to accomplish to the such things? Is in the main lobby where the reception was. How do I get there from here? I'm not sure. I'll try to see if there's another way down. Yeah, you do that, my friend. We're going to take cover behind this desk. And kill everybody that comes in this room. Oh, look at all these flak jackets. Ow, 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 my precious brain. I mean, guys, seriously. What was that about? They're giving each other a reach around or something over there. That's fine. Oh, hey. Um, bad, 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 <laughs> bad. Didn't realize there was one left. I forgot there was four bastards. Okay, so, what are we loaded with? Uh, you know, let's go with a HK for now. Keep it close. So, how are we going to get this done? Oh, look at this. Isn't this sweet? You're on top of the lobby now, but I can't find anything in the blueprints that show a way down. I'll improvise. Well, I can see a way down. Let's hope we have our glasses... Our glasses? <laughs> Let's hope we have our glass-proof underpants on, because this is going to get a little bit spicy. Mm. Yeah, I thought that was so cool. Up your ass with broken glass. Literally, in this case. You and your bloody flak jackets, honestly, guys. Good God. Well, that's okay. Go crash this party. There we are. There's a goon up here with a freaking combat shotgun, which actually really hurts. As you can see. Definitely can't take more than one shot with him. Not really. Evening. There's a few snipers that have spawned from where we know. were. Uh, my headset battery low. Okay. I do love the way it screams it into my ears. In the seriously sexy voice that it does. Uh, do we need to kill these guys? I mean, it's fun to kill these guys. So, sure. 
they don't actually have armor either. No, they don't. And we could use the sniper ammo. I'm not sure actually what the sniper rifle ammo cap is. Alright, well, we've got a few bullets for it now. Cool. Anyway, oh, what did that guy have? Oh, the sniper rifle. Sweet. I imagine the cap is like 30 or something. <gasps> this is such a cool room. Hello, Mr. T Rex. How are you doing? Allow me to murder everybody that walks through this door. At least, that's the theory. Alright, just the one of you? Pretty sure there's more. Definitely this git with a combat shotgun to worry about. And, yep, now there's another one behind us. Because he must have been taking a piss or something. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Yep, definitely taking a quick slash. Almost saved him, to be honest. Almost being the correct term. Alright. Nice, fresh, flat jackets. We must be wearing, wearing like 36 flat jackets by now. This room is certainly a little bit on the spicy side. God damn it. Let's equip this bad boy, I think. Yeah, this is a spicy room. Got him. But that ain't all, son. That ain't all. Where's this little git? Let's see that cranium of yours. There we go. Beautiful. Not bad, Gaben. Not bad. Now, there should be, yep, two goons behind us as well. Let's flatline these guys. Now, these guys also have flak jackets. Or at least one of them has flak jacket. That's fine. Don't mind only one of them having black jacket. Although it always kind of sucks when you can't grab it. Alright. Now this is where we need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, 30 rounds. Tell me where the virus labs are. <sighs> I don't know. Tell me or I will kill you. I can't tell you. Well, she don't kills them anyway, kill so. You have to the count of 10. There goes just gonna do that. Is Mara still alive? Yes. Now to get some answers. Hurry. More security is on its way. She's having a good time over there. She sounds like she's having a very good time over there. So we've shot her face off now. Now we've blown her hand off. So she's probably not that thrilled with us, to be honest. But whatever. Shouldn't be a stinking terrorist then, should she? In all fairness. Okay, we fell down. Oh god. Now that's actually an important thing. I think even if they're wearing flat jackets, you can still shoot them in the legs. The heads and the legs. Which is absolutely worth noting. Now, you can still hear an enemy running around. There's definitely more than just three en uh, two enemies. Including her. There's definitely more than that. There we go. Knew it. Not sure why they came out in uh, separate batches, actually. But whatever. Hopefully we can grab up some extra flag jackets. Probably wearing like 36 of these now. Not sure how we're so mobile, but... We're not going to question it. I might explain why old Gaben here walks in such a comical manner. Anyway, let's go get to our friend. Who's probably really angry at us. You know, she has no face. And she has no hand. You know, this all could have been avoided. Like, if we didn't let her get away the first time. I'm just saying. Alright? Just saying. Alright there, love. Leon, send it an evac. We'll have to patch her up before we can get any information out of her. Copy. On their way. 
And there we go. So we have Antarov or whatever she was called. I forget her name now. And we still have to find Fagan. But finding Fagan, we'll have to wait for the next video. So thank you very much, guys. And as always, till next time.